are here to make Australian bamboo grass. Well, I'm here. You're just here to watch. So <laughs> now I'm going to do this as on the nose as possible. It is going to be green, yellow, and blue because green and gold are our colours, and blue because we're all true blue here in this country. So, so yeah, yeah, very on the nose. But hey. Yeah, no, why not? Aussies have a tendency to make fun of themselves more than anybody else. Oh, I think. I'm just adding my lie. Everything's already in there. Now, this is um, master batched lie. So it's room temperature, like literally room temperature. Whatever temperature the room is, that's what temperature it is. I cannot tell you what the room temperature is because my hands are full. <laughs> oh dear. Alrighty, we have no need of you anymore. Not right now. Oh, come over here where you can see. And once again, I'm not filming in the glorious daytime light, but the 7 o'clock at night light. Oh, shh, listen. Can you hear it? <laughs> yep, Socks is snoring again. Socks is always snoring. Nothing new. Oh my god. Because I'm going to have to do a bit of mixing with the colours. So. What I'm going to do is basically a drop swirl, but kind of like in layers, if that makes any sense. It doesn't really make any sense. You'll figure it out when you watch me do it. <laughs> now, I have really stuck to 3% with this because it's strong. Really strong. Um, it's quite masculine. It smells... Kind of like an aftershave or a soap or a deodorant. It's yeah, it's definitely very, very strong. <laughs> is what it is. Okay, so for the yellow, I'm going to mix. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm going to not say anything because my tongue doesn't work. It's because it's got a big old bowl of ice cream. Big old bowl of ice cream, I did. I'm going to mix. See, can't say mix. Tuscan Sun and Wellington. I want a fairly bright yellow, so I'm going to use a decent amount. Green is the lime spider, of course. Look, it's full. This is the first time I've used it. And for the blue, I'm going to use not the yellow on that spoon. Uh, Blueberry Delight and Mysterious. Blueberry Delight is kind of iridescent. Well, it's darker, but it has like a green iridescence to it. So it's nice though, I've got to say. Ah, ah, get out of there. Quick, get out of there. You get in there. We never do the dark one first. And then some of this one. So as you can see, I'm using a, a fair amount of mica for me. <laughs> I've measured out that. I've added the lye. We're good to go. No, we're doing do this one first. Firsty first. This is not the blue that I was looking for. <laughs> Apparently it's a Star Wars blue. I'm just going to add some liquid colour because sometimes liquid colour just will really lift a colour. Putting that away so you can't see it. That's definitely better. Better than it was anyway. Alright, so that's it. We're not going to stick blend anymore. It's all going to be hand mixed from now on because we don't want this to um, accelerate. Uh, there's no notes to say that it does. Um, just 
yeah just that it's strong but I remember it from last time when I made it and yeah I remember it being strong before so okay oh, yeah it's strong all right ah uh, there's no rising that I can see so that's pretty good I don't remember I don't think it discolors I hope not so I'm doing yellow um, that's actually seems to have reversed trace a little bit actually well there you go wasn't expecting that that's fine because it can be like that um, what I'm gonna do is because I want my smell me to kind of match what I'm doing I'm just gonna pour a bit of that off now and then I'm gonna actually move this over where you guys can see what I'm doing and I'm just pouring this in I'm not um, doing anything with it just poured it in that's it and next I'm going to do I'm gonna do the yellow because you know the old saying blue and green should never be seen without a color in between <laughs> unless it's tartan and that's a whole different story I actually quite like blue and green together I don't think they don't go so you know I think that's one of those rules that can be broken if you have the right shades of color Wait. Come back in here. Oh, that yellow's glorious. It's so happy. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour this in, but I'm going to do it from reasonably high. And then I'm going to come down lower. So we get some on the top as well. Oh look, I'm supporting the Parramatta Eels. Woo! Aussies who understand football will know what I'm talking about. The rest of the world is like, what is she talking about? Parramatta Eels is a football team, a um, rugby league team. And their colours are blue and gold. Alright, so there's that one. And then this one. Which is a lovely green. I love lime spider. It comes it just is just a beautiful colour. In camera, yep. Oh, look at all the mess! Too much mess! And what I'm thinking, although I don't know if it'll happen, but I still have a reasonable amount of blue left. So I may, uh, I don't know, we'll see how this goes first. I'm not making any assumptions now. <laughs> That's not going to be anything like this. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go up high to try and get it into the soap. And then I'm going to come down lower to get it on the soap. And I'm going to go back up high again because there's still a fair bit in. <laughs> hey! All right, it's too ploppy now. What I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to put any more of that in there because there are still three colors on the top and I would like to swirl the three colors together on the top sorry about that but you are now on the same table as me not instead of up on a um, tri separate tripod so you have to put up with the wobbles um, I need a thingy <laughs> here's a thingy all right um this 
really not enough yellow or blue for this to look as good as I was hoping. But it still kind of looks alright, so we might just go with it. Yeah, he looks alright. He looks alright. Not my best work. Oh, I was going to put glitter in there. Never mind. Should I put some glitter on top? It's kind of a masculine soap. I shouldn't say that because I'm just going with gender stereotypes, aren't I? And my lines are all crooked. Can you see how crooked they are? Oh my god. Um, you know what? I have this Peridot glitter, which is a beautiful lime green. I'm going to go with it. Because I did want to use this. Did you see what I did? There was a bit of blue mica still left on the spoon, so I sort of rattled the glitter around in it first, and it's got a bit of a blue sheen to it now. I think that's pretty awesome. Alright, well, I'm going to get another mould and pour off some of these. Now I'm not putting a lot in these because when I wrap up the um, the freebies I have like pre-cut squares of craft paper and if I make these the actual size of this mould the paper doesn't fit around them. <laughs> so I'm being very aware of the end product. some greens on there no no yeah besides, besides I don't really have anything to talk about See, this is a sign of be me being depressed because I always have something to talk about. Yeah. Alrighty, so there you have it, Australian bamboo grass. It's um, it's nice. It's easy to work with. It did actually slow down the trace there, so um, definitely did not accelerate at any point, which is what we want. So yeah, so if you ever want to work with that one. I would recommend it. Just don't use a lot of it because it's strong. I'm thinking 3% was even too much. I should have probably dialed that back maybe to about 2, 2.5. Um, we'll see how the end result goes. But yeah, oh, better put some on there. Oh, I did accidentally just flipped off the spoon. Alright, my friends, I will see you for the cutting. Back to cut this beastie. Oh, there's a cat whinging. I know it's because he's just eating. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, not bad. I quite like it. Oh, just hang on. Shush! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a yellow flame giving birth to a green egg. Yeah, it might be a little late. <laughs> oh dear. I do like it though. I was a bit terrified it was going to look shit, but it doesn't look shit. The colours work well, I even though I'm even happy with the blue. So, even though it's not the blue I wanted. I wanted a deeper navy, but you know, we can't always have what we want. I don't have Jason Momoa, so you know, or Keanu Reeves, 
Let's settle for Calamari. So I don't think that's settling, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm sitting doing things I shouldn't be doing. This has to go on the dishwasher. Um, yeah, so I'm playing with my um, bullet journal instead of doing the things I should be doing, like editing videos. Oh, wow, looks like a fruit. Don't know what fruit. Upside down avocado or an avocado with a seed in the wrong place. I don't know, is that the shape of an avocado? Oh, okay. How'd they go from that to just that? That must have been a big plop. And there you go. And some a weird fruit. Oh, it's kind of a pussycat with a tail. Kind of. And yes, I realise I said with. I forgot more of my language skills there. <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to leave this here because I have another soap to cut, but you guys are not going to see that till September or something, so. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and there you go. You do one. You do baby. And there you go. That's the size. <laughs> Alright. See you next time. Bye.